prove that gamma of n plus of is equal to root pi divided by 2 power 2n into gamma of 2n plus 1 divided by gamma of 2n plus 1. To find out this uh, gamma of n plus 1 value, we have to use two things. One is the relation between beta and uh, gamma function, that is beta of m comma n which is equal to gamma m gamma n divided by gamma of m plus n. This is the first relation you have to use. Using this, we should find out the value of uh, beta of n plus 1 by 2 comma n plus 1 by 2. Here this is our m, this is our n. Therefore, beta of n plus 1 by 2 comma n plus 1 by 2 which is equal to gamma of m that is n plus 1 by 2 into gamma of n plus 1 by 2 whole divided by gamma of n plus 1 by 2 plus n plus 1 by 2 this is gamma of n plus 1 by 2 square divided by gamma of 2n plus 1. Consider this is equation number 1. Now, the value of beta of m comma n which is equal to 0 to 1, interval limit varying from 0 to 1 x power m minus 1 into 1 minus x power n minus 1 into dx. This is the known relation. With the help of this relation, we have to find out this value that is beta of n plus 1 by 2 comma n plus 1 by 2 which is equal to this is our m, this is our n inter limit varying from 0 to 1 x power n plus of minus 1 into 1 minus x power n plus of minus 1 into dx this is equal to inter limit varying from 0 to 1 x power n minus 1 by 2 n plus of minus 1 is n minus 1 by 2 into 1 minus x power n minus 1 by 2 into dx to solve this put x equal to sin square theta Therefore, 1 minus x equal to cos square theta because 1 minus sin square theta equal to cos square theta. Then dx equal to differentiation of this 2 sin theta cos theta d theta. This is value of dx. Now, we have to substitute these values in the above integral. If you substitute x equal to sin square theta, the lower limit is 0, but the upper limit is changed to pi by 2 because x equal to sin square theta. The lower limit is 0. 0 equal to sin square theta. Therefore, theta equal to 0 because sin 0 equal to 0. For the upper limit, we have to put 1. The value of x is 1. 1 equal to sin square theta. 1 equal to sin square theta. Therefore, theta equal to pi by 2 because sin pi by 2 equal to 1. Now, the limits are also changed. Beta of n plus 1 by 2 comma 
n plus 1 by 2 which is equal to limit varying from 0 to pi by 2 because we are considering the value of x as sin square theta sin square theta power n minus half into cos square theta power n minus half the dx value 2 into sin theta cos theta d theta now this is modified as take this 2 outside 2 into interleaving value from 0 to pi by 2 sin power 2n minus 1 into theta then cos power 2n minus 1 into theta this is 2 into n minus 1 by 2 in this form 2 into n minus 1 by 2 which is equal to 2n minus 2 by 2 which is 2n minus 1 into this sin theta then cos theta d theta this is further modified as 2 into limit varying from 0 to pi by 2 sin power 2n into theta cos power 2n into theta d theta because sin power 2n minus 1 into theta into sin theta equal to sin power 2n theta cos power 2n minus 1 theta into cos theta equal to cos power 2n into theta now we have to use the formula sin 2 theta which is equal to 2 sin theta cos theta sin theta cos theta which is equal to sin 2 theta by 2 with the help of this formula we should uh, rearrange the above equation beta of n plus half comma n plus half which is equal to 2 into interlimit varying from 0 to pi by 2 sin 2 theta by 2 whole power 2n sin power 2n theta cos power 2n theta is modified as sin 2 theta by 2 whole power 2n into d theta using this formula this is modified as 2 divided by take this 2 with 2 power n 2 power 2n inter limit varying from 0 to pi by 2 sin power 2n into 2 theta d theta this is the value of beta of n plus of comma n plus of in the above equation put pi equal to 2 theta therefore d theta equal to d pi by 2 here theta equal to pi by 2 therefore d theta equal to d by 2 now consider the limits lower limit is 0 because pi equal to 2 into 0 that is equal to 0 because the value of theta equal to 0 here then upper limit is pi equal to 2 into pi by 2 which is equal to pi now the above integral is modified as beta of n plus half comma n plus half which is equal to 2 divided by 2 power 2n integral limit varying from 0 to pi not pi by 2 0 to pi then sin 2 power n into pi into d theta equal to d pi by 2 this is further modified as 1 divided by 2 power 2n integral limit varying from 0 to pi 
sin power 2n into pi into d pi. To solve this integral, we have to use a formula. The formula is integral limit varying from 0 to 2a f of x dx equal to 2 times integral limit varying from 0 to a not to a a f of x into dx if f of 2a minus x which is equal to f of x if this condition is satisfied if f of 2a minus x equal to f of x then f of x dx limit varying from 0 to 2a equal to 2 times integral limit varying from 0 to a into f of x dx in our case 2a equal to pi the function is sin pi say sin pi minus x which is equal to sin x function is sin pi sin of pi minus pi equal to sin pi therefore this integral is modified in this form beta of n plus 1 by 2 comma n plus 1 by 2 which is equal to write on the first term as such 1 divided by 2 power 2n then integral limit varying from 0 to pi sin power 2n pi d pi which is equal to use this formula 0 to 2a equal to f of x dx here 2a equal to pi therefore a equal to pi by 2 then put this to 2 into inter limit varying from 0 to pi by 2 then the function is sin power 2n pi into d pi there is no change in the function just the limit alone we changed 0 to pi to 0 to pi by 2 then we have to introduce additionally 2 keep this, this equation now we have to solve this integral that is integral limit varying from 0 to pi by 2 sin power 2n into pi d pi this is rearranged as limit varying from 0 to pi by 2 sin power 2n into pi cos power 0 into pi d pi for our convenient we have expressed this in terms of sin and uh, cos cos power 0 pi is 1 which will not affect the nature of this equation say this is equation number 3 you know the standard uh, equation limit varying from 0 to pi by 2 sin power p into theta cos power q into theta d theta it is equal to gamma of p plus 1 by 2 into gamma of q plus 1 by 2 whole divided by 2 times gamma of p plus q plus 2 whole divided by 2 this is the general formula in our case from equation 3 from equation 3 p equal to 2n q equal to 0 see here sin power p theta here sin power p that is 2n cos power q theta here cos power 0 so q equal to 0 now integral limit varying from 0 to pi by 2 sin power 2n into pi 
cos power 0 into pi d pi which is equal to gamma of p plus 1 by 2 that is 2n plus 1 by 2 into gamma of q plus 1 by 2 q equal to 0 therefore only 1 by 2 whole divided by 2 times gamma of p that is 2n plus q q equal to 0 plus 2 whole divided by 2 then this is modified as gamma of n plus 1 by 2 2n plus 1 whole divided by 2 is n plus 1 by 2 into gamma of 1 by 2 whole divided by 2 into gamma of n plus 1 now consider the equation 2 substitute this value in equation 2 that is beta of n plus 1 by 2 comma n plus 1 by 2 which is equal to see that uh, equation 2 1 divided by 1 divided by 2 power 2n 2 into then the integral integral of limit varying from 0 to pi by 2 sin power 2n pi d pi that integral result is this much substitute this value gamma of n plus 1 by 2 into gamma of 1 by 2 whole divided by 2 into gamma of n plus 1 this is further modified as 1 divided by 2 power 2n 2 to get cancelled then this gamma of 1 by 2 is root pi the value of gamma of 1 by 2 is root pi into gamma of n plus half divided by gamma of n plus 1 this 2 to get cancelled this gamma of 1 by 2 is root pi then these two terms are written as such. This is the value of beta of n plus 1 by 2 comma n plus 1 by 2. Uh, mark this one as equation 4. This is equation 4. From the beta and uh, gamma functions you have had the value of beta of n plus 1 by 2 comma n plus 1 by 2 as n plus 1 by 2 gamma whole square by gamma of 2n plus 1 this is the value this is equation number 1 this is the value of beta of n plus of comma n plus of we arrived at this value from the relation between beta and uh, gamma functions already we uh, have presented this as equation 1 now compare these two left hand sides are equal so the right hand side should be equal therefore gamma of n plus 1 by 2 whole square divided by gamma of 2n plus 1 which is equal to 1 divided by 2 power 2n root pi into gamma of n plus half divided by gamma of n plus 1. Here gamma of n plus 1 is available. Here gamma of n plus 1 is available with the square. So we need the value of gamma of uh, n plus half alone. So, gamma of n plus half which is equal to root pi divided by 2 power 2n into gamma of, take this term, see, cancel this, then bring this gamma of 2n plus 1, 
to the right hand side that will be going to the numerator gamma of 2n plus 1 whole divided by this term gamma of n plus 1 hence proved